what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear in the crowd. Fuck the diss, I'ma act the fuck up. Everything dead, I ain't tapping them up. Feel the way you get caught the fuck up. Don't do some rock on me, act in my cup. All right, hey guys. So we're on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a very, very special guest. Not an artist, but we have an artist mom with us. Hello. With a shirt, you could tell. <laughs> so, um, let us know your name. Hey, my name is Jackie, a.k.a. Mama Flock, the one and only. <laughs> What's going on, guys? The one and only. So, um, let's start a little bit from the beginning. Like, give us a little walkthrough of, like, how, I guess, music transpired for Kay, if you could. Honestly... I don't know what to say with that one right there. Because he was not into music like that to sit here and become some type of rapper. So you were shocked? All the way shocked. <laughs> that was a whole left field. So what, what, what was he working on before? He wanted to actually do clothing designs and stuff like that. Okay. I had him in boxing because that's what we do. Okay. So things like that, but never nothing of music ever. I, I didn't even know... <laughs> he could even do anything like that, like, okay. honestly. So walk us through, like, your first, I guess, musical experience. Like, how did you see it when you saw it coming together? Or first no, the song? first time I heard something, my oldest son was the one who came to me. was like, Mom, did you hear your son? So I'm like, who? He's like, hello, your other son, Kay. <laughs> so I'm like, where am I hearing him? Like, what are you talking about? He was like, he's doing music on YouTube. He's rapping. But mm -hmm. I see his face is serious, not, like, laughing, like, you yeah. know, he sounds stupid and whatever. Mm -hmm. So... And I'm like, for real? He's like, Ma, for real? He's like, it sound good, too. So let me see. He pulls mm -hmm. out the YouTube. I'm looking, and I'm like, wow. Mm. I was like, not for nothing. Not to toot my own horn, but my son sound real good. <laughs> like, he sounds better than a lot of guys that's actually signed nowadays. And I'm like, right. not for nothing. He kind of sound like a pop smoke with that voice. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, that's cool. Well, I hope he keeps up with that. If that's what he really wants to do. That's what's giving him an inspiration. Then go ahead. Eh? The more, the merrier. And you were supportive, like, the whole way, I guess. The whole entire way. I told him, if that's what's going to keep you out of trouble, no problem. Let's go with it. I'm, I'm with it. And he kept on and kept on. And then I see he started to get serious when he was coming to me. Damn, yeah, every day, I need $200. I need $300. <laughs> I need $600. For what? For studio time. And I'm there like, but I just gave you, like, $300. The studio. He's like, Ma, I got you. Trust me. I got you. I got this. I got this. And I'm like, It definitely okay. sounds like him. <laughs> I'm like, all right, you know, I'm not working right now. This COVID took everybody out of surprise. I'm like, but I do got money saved, but that's all I have. Yeah. So I have to, like, live with this case. Okay. Ma. Got you, Ma. Got you. Watch. Watch, oh, He Ma. was passionate from the beginning. Yeah, real passionate. So since I, I, yeah, I used to argue with him and make him get mad and be like, no. Mm -hmm. And then make him come back a little later on and ask again. <laughs> yeah, because if you really want I wanted to know. really make sure that that's what he was really doing with the money I was giving him. Right. You know, I already went through a whole bunch of stuff with the like, typical boys. Yeah. So it's just like, if I give you this $300, you sure it's going to be for that? Mm -hmm. You're not going to just go hang with your friends or whatever? Like, okay. no. So then you saw the music videos. Started and seeing more and more, more and more. And then the money kept going up and up asking. So I'm like, okay, but why the money's going up? He's like, just watch, Ma, the videos and this and that. He's like, you're going to see, watch. And one day, he sure enough came to me on three-way, like, look. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny, but who are these white people? <laughs> and he's just like, Ma, these are the people. And I'm like, all right, well, my bad. And I still was not believing it. Like, you know, So sign. he called you with the label and all that, and you still was No, there. I didn't believe it at all. Okay. Oh, I was like, no, because me growing up and me seeing rappers and stuff like that, seeing yeah. how hard it was for them, them to, to get, get on, to yeah, get put on, it was just like, that is not that easy for anybody to just get put on. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, oh, whatever, okay. And then he was just doing it by himself. Like, okay. he was making his own little ways of finding yeah, resources and how to get to where he is at now that yeah. I had to respect it. So I was just like, and everybody used to come to me like, oh, you know your son is, and I'm just like, oh, you know your son, and I'm like, so people was already coming up to you. Yeah, and, and I'm lost in the source. I'm the only one lost in the source. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. So I guess about. when did you like get with the source? I want to say like when did you like get with it? You knew the white people was legit. <laughs> like when did on you the second you? call with them. <laughs> <laughs> and that was with Nico. I love him to death. Okay. That was with them, and I was just like, oh, then they was like, oh, you have a million dollar kid. I'm sitting there like, no, he's not a million dollars because he costs more than that. Like, there's no numbers for his <laughs> minds. But granted. And they kept on, and I'm just there like, he's like, no, for real, you're going to watch and see, da da da, da. You know, he's only 17, soon he'll mm -hmm. get out. I'm just like, all right, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. sounds nice. And I'm like, 
Because you know how people tend to lie. So you just didn't want his hopes to yeah, get up. Yeah, so I was just like, and I'm like, hey, you know, and he's like, Ma, I got this. I know what I'm doing. And I'm like, you don't want to know how I'm, no, I got this. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you always, Mr. You got to know what you're doing. But I've been the same way all my life. I got this. I know what I'm doing. So okay. I'm pretty sure he had it. So, and like I said, one day to the next, that boy just kept going up. All the For way sure. up. All sure. the way up, and when that paper sign thing came, along, I was just like, nah. But I still was still still I was not was believing it. I went to dinner with them. I'm with them in their face, and I'm still like, cause it's so y'all. hard. To I don't believe. believe y'all, and they're like, you're looking at us like you don't believe what's happening. I'm like, no. They're like, watch in a couple of years, you're gonna be on your booty stuff. Like, when is my car? Not, why is my car not here? And I'm like, <laughs> I know how to drive. <laughs> I don't need nobody to pick me up. <laughs> they're like, no, watch. But I'm not really into that bougie stuff, or whatever. But yeah. You know, but the different type of lifestyle. It's yes, it is way more. Way more to yourself. Gotta yes, be on your everything toes. is. It's just better, and it should have just been that way from the get. Not only just being in the entertainment or nothing like that. Yeah. I mean, I feel like everybody should just be on an A game. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, um, so he been was passionate about music. So, like, I guess what was I want to say? The first gift or a, a gesture he gave to you because you already said you was dishing out money. So, what was that first gesture or gift? That he was like, oh, this is really giving back, or you know. I mean, or you just proud to just see him going up. No, nah, and- I'm I'm proud. I'm more than proud to see my son do it by himself. Okay. And because he had management, no. Yes. I mean, yeah, but he manages himself too. K don't play. He's yeah. like me. Nobody can just tell us what to do. Like if it don't sound right, we're not doing it, and that's just it. It goes <laughs> it's our way or the highway. Like right. So. And- yeah, and I was going to say, and what also happened was people say that he's super supportive of his friends. So, like, he was helping his friends along his career. He was trying to manage other artists while still pursuing his career. So, did you know any of the friends he was helping? Or Yes, I do. Yeah. I know Dougie. I know Beloved. I know them all. <laughs> so, like, what's some early memories? Do you remember them, like, rapping in the house? Or it was on some, they want to go to the studio? No, nah, them like boys a- never rapped in my house. They was just <laughs> in, there, in, my, in, there, in that room, a whole bunch of boys. <laughs> Boys being boys. Hot, yeah, all sweaty and, you know, listening to music. <laughs> Me being who I am, letting them know, like, why is there, like, no girls in here? Y'all don't have no girls to be with? Like, why y'all all here boys? Like, weird, but whatever. Mm-hmm. But that's just how I know them. Like, I know them since, like, 9, 10, 11 years old. If they was growing up. Yeah, just hanging out in the room. I actually heard about, I think it was Beloved that was doing the music when mm-hmm. my son was in the group home, put away, mm-hmm. when he came home. Mm-hmm. Beloved took him and was like, you know, he's doing, he see that he's doing music. Yeah. So he was like, like, jump on it. Like, this is what we're doing. Get on it. So you said he was in a group home after? So how did, how did that transition into him coming back home with you? Nah, simple. He did what he had to do and that was that. Oh, um, doing his thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, you Just know, you know, little typical mishaps that happen with teenagers, kids, teenagers, something schools, that fast. Yes. All that stuff. Yeah. Small little dumb things. And after there, yeah. every so step So he's of the way. always worked through, I want to say, problems, I guess. Yeah. No, my son's good. Yeah, he always worked through the issues. So Everything, like, yeah. He makes sure he might go through struggle a quick second, but he sits down, relax, thinks, focus up, and then know what's, you know what's going on and fixes it. Like, so, um, so, of course, like, I'm sh- so as things was going up, as things kept arising, how was it when you found out, I guess, the news of the arrest? So was it a phone call? Was it a... Or you just kind of knew when you nah, saw No, it was a phone story. call. And then from there, that's it. But as I said before, he works through all those issues. So he's going to work through this one too? Of course. Positively. That's God's gift right there. Mm-hmm. So uh, um, a lot of people feel like rappers are often targeted by police and things like that. And then the media is trying to paint out drill to be this bad thing all right drill's been a long time ago <laughs> with the same bullshit so cut it out now yeah. because there's a whole bunch of kids doing dumb shit please y'all should have cut drill out a long time ago then yeah so so that that doesn't bother you that, that no that happening. drill stuff does not bother me at all yeah because people are still um supporting him and still i got a lot of little kids that that write me on ig that say my son's music inspire them mm-hmm. and i have to i have to ask like how Mm-hmm. And they're like, because he's so real and he's so positive and he's just so, the energy that he, he brings mm-hmm. out and, you know, he, that it be known. So it's like, just be you. Like, you know, just. Yeah. The music is just an expression. Just, it's an, yeah, it's yeah. expression. It's just music. Yeah. 
So people definitely are taking the music too too literal. I mean, if you want to sit there, like again, back in the days, if you want to take it literal, that's that's a lot of music back in the days when they speak. They actually did mm -hmm. things, and also got went to jail for it. So if yeah. like that, I don't know, I just find it real dumb and irrelevant to sit there even bring that up in the air with drill music all of a sudden is done. No, mm -hmm. the media, and that's what's messing up yeah, this the, whole. The way that it's being portrayed, Yes, sure. it's messed up everything, all types of ways. Yeah, but um, yeah, but kids still like the music. Kids still support the music. So like, what's one of your favorite songs, I guess? Okay. Is y'all ready? Don't run, don't trip. <laughs> <laughs> so like, how, like, how did you first hear that song, and how you knew, like, yeah, that's, that, I like that one? I hear everything first. Oh, yeah? So he plays it for you first? Yeah, he be in the house. Yeah. He so be in his room, music. and all he hears are the instrumental or something, or, and all you hear is... <laughs> <laughs> them dancing around. That's, that's it. <laughs> I already know what he's doing. Like, I don't, it don't even bother music. me. I'll just let the people downstairs know, like, y'all already know my son. They're like, we already know, girl. I'm like, all right, cool. As long as we oh, on. so the people downstairs already know what's going on. They already yeah. know music is being They're made. on good, yep. So, um, so y'all are doing a documentary. I don't know if I can say that. Okay, so we are documenting this. We are shooting a documentary. What um what message I guess do you want the fans to know or to get from this doc when they watch it, or what would you want to leave fans that you probably wish he could have told the people, or you know? Well, well, he done told me to let everybody know because I don't told him we were gonna do this, and if he wanted me to say anything on his behalf, if he wasn't able to speak, mm -hmm. he just wanted to let everybody know that he really loves y'all and he really thank y'all. Mm -hmm. He really appreciate that y'all love his music and that y'all supporting him and that y'all praying for him, mm -hmm. and that when he comes home, he's gonna do nothing but make y'all even happier by giving y'all more music more and music. some more dopeness <laughs> into this world. Yeah. He got a lot of cosigns from a lot of big artists, too. Yes, he does. Yeah, so. And I'm so thankful, and I wanna tell you guys all thank you from the bottom of my heart, literally. Mm -hmm. It means, like, the world to me. <laughs> so if someone wanted to help out, if someone was watching this and wanted to help out, like, what, like, what could they do? At the moment, pray, pray. That's cool. I want prayers. <laughs> so all good vibes and all prayers. To Nothing but genuine watching. prayers. If anybody want to do more than just that, genuinely, that's because mm -hmm. they want to and they choose to. Yeah. But I don't expect or want anything from anybody but prayers mm -hmm. and straight genuine support. Okay. That's fair. So definitely, fans watching and supporting K Flock. Definitely. Any last words you want to say? Just thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you for coming and sitting with us. And You're more than welcome. Yeah, thank same. you. K Flock won Artist of the Year this year. He definitely That's right. put in that work this year. Got this to put next to my YouTube plaque now. Oh, yeah, the YouTube plaque. Oh, yeah. Yes, I got that too. <laughs> and we're going to keep getting more and bigger. Yeah.